Today, let us learn division by 10, 100 and 1000. Let us begin with the division by 10. Look at the board. We have solved two examples by division method. Look at the first example. 347 divided by 10. Here we got the quotient as 34 and remainder as 7. Now look at the second example. 5681 divided by 10. Here we got the quotient as 568 and remainder as 1. Did you notice that when we divided both the numbers by 10, the digit in their ones place formed the remainder and the remaining digits formed the quotient? Now let us solve one more example without actual division. Find out the quotient and remainder of 468 divided by 10. We already know that the digit in the ones place of the dividend forms the remainder. Thus, here 8 is the remainder. Now, the remaining digits form the quotient. Thus, here 46 is the quotient. Next is division by 100. Look at the board. We have solved the two examples by division method. Look at the first example. 321 divided by 100. Here we got the quotient as 3 and remainder as 21. Now look at the second example. 7847 divided by 100. Here we got the quotient as 78 and remainder as 47. In these examples, when we divided both the numbers by 100, the 1s and 10s digits of the dividend formed the remainder and the remaining digits formed the quotient. Now let us solve one more example without actual division. Find out the quotient and remainder of 6348 divided by 100. We know that the digits in the ones and tens place of the dividend form the remainder. Thus, here 48 is the remainder. Now, the remaining digits form the quotient. Thus, here 63 is the quotient. Next is division by 1000. Look at the board. We have solved the two examples by division method. Look at the first example. 9318 divided by 1000. Here we got the quotient as 9 and remainder as 318. Now look at the second example. 19,400 divided by 1,000. Here we got the quotient as 19 and remainder as 400. Here when we divided both the numbers by 1,000, the 1s, 10s and 100s digits of the dividend formed the remainder and the remaining digits formed the quotient. Now let us solve one more example without actual division. Find out the quotient 
and remainder of 56,984 divided by 1,000. We know that the digit in the ones place, the tens place and the hundreds place of the dividend form the remainder. Thus, here 984 is the remainder and the remaining digits form the quotient. Thus, here 56 is the quotient. Wasn't it easy dividing by 10, 100 and 1000?